Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations x cubed plus y cubed whole cubed is equal to x to the power 9 plus y to the power 9 and xy is equal to negative 2. Our job is to find all possible values of x plus y. So, let's start. By using this algebraic identity a plus b whole cubed is equal to a cubed plus 3 a squared b plus 3 a b squared plus b cubed. This x cubed plus y cubed whole cubed will become x cubed whole cubed plus 3 times x cubed whole squared times y cubed plus 3 times x cubed times y cubed squared plus y cubed whole cubed is equal to this expression x to the power 9 plus y to the power 9. Now, this will become x to the power 9 plus 3 times this x cubed whole squared will become x to the power 6 times y cubed plus 3 times this x cubed times this y cubed whole squared will become y to the power 6 plus this y cubed whole cubed will become y to the power 9 is equal to x to the power 9 plus y to the power 9. Now, we subtract x to the power 9 and y to the power 9 from both sides. So, this get cancelled, this get cancelled, this get cancelled and this get cancelled. This equation will become 3 times x to the power 6 times y cubed plus 3 times x cubed y to the power 6 is equal to 0. Now, from these two terms, uh, we can factor out uh, 3x cubed y cubed. In bracket left, uh, x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 0. And we divide both sides by 3. So, this 3 will be cancelled out with this 3 and this equation will become x cubed times y cubed times uh, x cubed plus uh, y cubed is equal to 0. Now, this x cubed y cubed can be written as uh, x y whole cubed times uh, x cubed plus uh, y cubed is equal to 0. Now, we replace this uh, x y with this value of x y negative 2 x times y is equal to negative 2. So, this will become negative 2 cubed times x cubed plus uh, y cubed is equal to 0. And this negative 2 cubed will become negative 8 times x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 0 and we divide both sides by negative 8. So, this negative 8 will be considered over this negative 8 and this equation will become x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. This x cubed plus y cubed will become x plus y times x squared minus x y plus 
y squared is equal to 0. From here, either this expression x plus y is equal to 0 or this expression x squared minus x y plus uh, y squared is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the first value of x plus y 0. This is the first solution of uh, this equation. Now, from this equation, we replace this x y with this value of x y negative 2. x times y is equal to negative 2. So, this will become x squared minus value of x y negative 2 plus y squared is equal to 0. Next, x squared negative times negative 2 will become plus 2 plus y squared is equal to 0. We subtract 2 from both sides. So, this get cancelled and we get the value of uh, x squared plus uh, y squared is equal to negative 2. Now, to make this x squared plus uh, y squared uh, a perfect square, we add both sides to x y. So this will become x squared plus uh, y squared plus uh, 2x y is equal to negative 2 plus uh, 2x y. Now, this will become x plus y whole squared is equal to negative 2 plus uh, 2 times in place of this uh, x times y, we put this value of x y negative 2. Value of x y is uh, negative 2. Next, x plus y whole squared is equal to negative 2 plus 2 times negative 2 will become negative 4. Next, x plus y whole squared is equal to negative 6 and to find the values of x plus y, we take square root of both sides. So, this uh, square will be cancelled out with this square root and from here we get uh, x plus y is equal to plus minus uh, this uh, square root of negative 6 can be written as uh, root negative 1 times root 6 and uh, x plus y is equal to plus or minus this uh, square root of negative 1 will become i times square root of 6. From here, we get two values of x plus y. x plus y is equal to i times square root of 6. And x plus y is equal to negative i times root 6. And first, we found the value of x plus y is equal to First, we found value of x plus y 0. First, we found this value of x plus y 0. So, we have uh, three solutions of uh, this equation. x plus y is equal to 0 and uh, i times root 6 and uh, negative i times root 6.